way the school board looks so after seeing the chaos over the firing and then reinstatement of CCSD Superintendent Jesus Jar, the teachers union right now is pushing to change how board members get selected. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen has more on a proposed plan that would change the makeup of every school board in our state. There's been years of talk about changing the makeup of the school board, but now the drama over Superintendent Jesus Jara's status has motivated one group to call for change. You are a phony baloney. It's been dysfunctional, not for the last several weeks, but for the last several years. That's how the Clark County Education Association describes the Clark County School District Board of Trustees. This coming after back and forth drama over the status of Superintendent Jesus Jara. Executive Director John Velardita is saying the teachers union wants to see change in how the board is chosen. He wants to see a hybrid model where some of the trustees are elected and some are appointed. Where the community still can elect people, but at the same time, there's going to be an appointment process we would strive for, for people with good qualifications. He says this would address the dysfunction of school boards by putting the appropriate people in place. You have people who have been elected that have no background or no skill set or qualifications to really manage a two and a half billion dollar budget and 300,000 kids education. Changes would have to be made in the state legislature and those changes would affect every school board in Nevada. AB 495 contains a provision where a committee of lawmakers will study the composition of county school district trustees throughout the state, including how they're chosen. Currently, all school trustees in Nevada are elected. CCSD kindergarten teacher Nicole Hess says she's open to changing the makeup of the board, saying it's become too self-serving. This history and these events with personal agendas and things happening behind closed doors that the public doesn't know about needs to stop. The Legislative Education Committee will begin talking about changes in January of next year. Any potential changes could take effect in 2023. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.